my work is process driven. Uh, I start with sketches or like uh, diary entries and I have the overall idea of what I want to create and how I want to make it feel. Um, but I start with adding like charcoal, powder, graphite powder, gesso, oil paints um, onto the background and I choose a focal point. And um, as the piece goes and grows, I sort of push it around and change things. Um, but I tend to want to create a story or a narrative idea that the viewer can find or create for themselves. So that's kind of how I decide what I want to do with Thor. Lots of new ideas come from just going out, experiencing new work, going to museums and galleries, reading, uh, watching TV, watching new movies, and journaling. Um, I feel like art is, has a lot to do with the experience, the human experience. So in order to find new ideas, you keep living and keep continuing to put yourself out there and um, looking for new ways to find inspiration or find what interests you. So being a Hispanic here just month at the time, where we can um, uh, honor uh, Hispanic heritage, we can identify with it, we can learn about the cultures. There's so many cultures that we have no idea about and that we're not really exposed to. So in my opinion, it's a time to really explore, be as curious as possible, and learn as much history as you can, and to show support for all cultures in the Hispanic community. A lot of artists inspire me. Casey Ba, he works out of New York. Another artist, um, Brad Conkle, and he does incredible work using uh, silver leaf with oil paints and graphite. Um, but I mean, I'm traditional, like I was, I was homeschooled growing up, so the artists that I fell in love with initially were from the Italian Renaissance, so Michelangelo, Da Vinci, um, artists who were obsessed with their process, obsessed with, I wouldn't say perfectionism, but always um, obsessed with moving the mark and raising the bar artistically. This exhibit started uh, a few years ago. I put up work for an exhibition and one of the pieces was inspired by a letter that I wrote to someone that I threw away and found. And when people looked at it, they resonated with my story. And I felt connected to complete strangers that I've never met before. So I was curious during the height of the pandemic, I had a residency. And uh, I was curious to see how many more connections I could find. It's a time where everyone felt disconnected, so I kind of wanted to combat that with this project. Uh, when I originally did the series, I, I expected to find and read lots of um, stories. Um, I will say, lots of letters are to like lovers, to lots of to friends who love their friends and they're not saying anything. One of the most interesting things about this project is that you really get to know what people have to say and sometimes you want to reach out and talk to them about what they're submitting. There was one letter in particular about a sibling who wanted to reach out and tell their brother that they loved them, um, but they felt that, that they couldn't. They, they talked about how they're still, they still see each other on a regular basis, and I was just wondering why, why you feel the need to hold, withhold that information. So it's very fascinating. Sometimes it's where I read letters about feelings people have for others that are still alive and well. Um, so it, this project has definitely taught me to really say how I feel, be honest with, with people, it's just truthfully how you connect with someone in an authentic way.